Hey guys, Miku here, and I'm bringing you a special baritone ukulele, custom baritone ukulele from John Kennard. Um, some of my favorite ukes on this planet is right here um, in my hands. So this is a really cool baritone because, well, from looks, you can tell this is a thin line or a slim line or a thin baritone. Um, so it's really comfortable to hold because it's, you know, it doesn't have as much depth. I can go ahead and like snug it a little closer versus if the depth, you know, was more like this, then my arms are going to be farther away from the instrument. So from just holding it before even getting to playing and, you know, all this kind of stuff, just holding it just feels really feels really comfortable so I like the thin line um, just for that very reason it just feels really good to hold um, this instrument has very beautiful sinker redwood here on the front of the instrument and you know in my experience maybe I just need more experience but in my experience I, it's not too common that you see these really dark um, very prominent dark lines on the sinker redwood um, so when I opened the case I was like wow that's that's re that's really cool to see those um, so very nice sinker redwood with the nice dark lines on the front and then on the sides and back we have Mexican rosewood so I was trying to figure out like, oh, what is that? It, it, like I've seen that before, but I just couldn't try to figure it out and I was totally wrong. So this is Mexican Rosewood. Um, it has a nice sheen to it and it has a little bit of grain in the in the, in the wood itself. Um, definitely a lot of the black dots that's, you know, indicative um, in here on this piece of wood. But when you look at it in the light, there's some holographic um, effects you know, going on in this wood. So we have it on the back and then on the sides as well. And then we have a nice little side sound port right there it's binded with rosewood here on the top and the back of the instrument and then we have ebony bridge fretboard and headstock and this is the z headstock that john kennard's uh, instruments have along with their logos here in the mother of pearl and then we have a light um, little circle mother of pearl right here in the middle um, of the four strings of course the z headstock right there um, so slide headstock and then right here we have it in this orientation goto uh, upt planetary tuners um, very good some of the best tuners you can put on your instrument very smooth and just a, has a smaller uh, footprint or a smaller profile um, on the instrument um, and then we have your mahogany neck right here and some cool little wood designs right here different woods that make up the middle um, of the neck right here and then of course the rosette right here made up of different woods uh, you know, right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven or eight different pieces of wood that wraps around um, the rolls it itself. So a very nice dark woody kind of ukulele, you know, no, you know, abalone on this instrument at all, but just really, you know, really clean and just a nice, a nice darker aesthetic. Here on the fretboard, we have a bigger fret marker on fret number one, and then three, five, seven, 10, 12, and 15. And of course you have the fret markers here on the side of the instrument as well. So yeah, very pretty instrument. Now going into the sound, oh, just very lush and just so warm. It's just oozing tone. Now, because you have the thin body, you're not going to have as much space for the sound to resonate. Um, you know, so you're not going to get a, as big of a sound as, you know, the, the one with the normal depth, but it still has just such a nice, beautiful tone. It still has a really, you know, the volume is not as loud as it could be like that's, you know, common with baritones, but man, is the tone just making me close, <laughs> making me close my eyes because it's just... Just nice dip, deep, rich overtones and low end, and but it's so sweet. That mid range is so, just so oozing with warmth. And for me, um, I like having bright sounds and instruments because you know when when I have the melody on the A string, I want to make sure that sings and it comes through. Just really nice and clean on the A string. It's not bright, it's more of a rounded kind of warm sound. But just that the vibrato is really nice, the sustain's nice. Oh, it sounds so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a sound sample. 
on this. Just wanted to point out really quickly too that um, this is a radius fretboard for those of you um, that were looking for something like that. This instrument has it, so. All right, here we go. So sweet, so, so so nice. Plays really easy. That's why I love um, Kennard stuff. It's just butter, really easy to play. <clears throat> Again, this instrument just oh, just puts you in a really good place in a very happy mood. Makes me feel really good on inside. So this is what this instrument sounds like. It's strumming. 